if you want to learn the secrets and tips of making a perfect red velvet cake then you need to watch this video to the very end hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel so right now let's start the video for this recipe we need eggs we need sugar we need flour we need baking soda we'll be using baking powder i'm using flavor here yeah, two flavor vanilla and milk flavor i'm also using some cocoa powder i'm using some red food coloring which is very important white vinegar vegetable oil and milk so the very first step that we'll be doing now is to sieve in all our dry ingredients together so right now i'm just going to sieve in my cocoa powder and baking powder first to your flour mixture the only dry ingredient you'll be adding is cocoa powder and baking powder that's the two things you'll be adding to it alongside with your a pinch of salt that you are going to be adding at this stage you see your baking soda the baking soda please don't add it at this stage to your flour mixture you are not going to add baking soda to your flour mixture you are going to use it later in the video so once you sieve your baking soda and cocoa powder together then you whisk everything together please know that the full list of the ingredients will always be in the description box below so after combining all your dry ingredients together you set it aside then the next step for us is to prepare our buttermilk for our buttermilk we need one cup of milk and one tablespoon of white vinegar so once you prepare your buttermilk you set it aside then the next step we cream our egg and sugar first you cream your egg and sugar first until it is very fluffy as you can see from this video you can see the texture of what we achieve with our egg and sugar in this video so after creaming your egg and sugar then the next thing to add to your egg and sugar is the vegetable oil then I'm adding my vegetable oil now so once you finish adding your vegetable oil you cream that together with your egg and sugar after adding our vegetable oil and we cream together the next thing we'll be adding is our food coloring for this recipe I'm using a powdered food coloring and that is why I'm adding it at this stage so I'm adding the food coloring at this stage because I want it to be able to cream and blend well because it's a powdered one to my red velvet cake so the type of red and the type of food coloring you are using is what will determine the end result of your cake so it is better and it is advisable to get a very good red food coloring especially the one that is for red velvet cake so i've had my red uh, food coloring and you can see the color we have now so the next thing i'm adding at this stage is my flavor so i'm adding in my vanilla flavor and also my milk flavor so once i finish adding my flavor i'm just going to mix everything together so at this stage i'll start adding my flour and my butter milk then at this stage you need to slow down the speed of your mixer so you are going to reduce the speed of your mixer and start alternating your flour and milk together on a very low speed
so guys at this stage do you remember that i told you that we are going to be using our baking soda towards the end of this video so now this is my baking soda so i just mentioned my baking soda into a separate cup then i'll add my white vinegar to heat and it's going to freeze and bubble up so the mixture immediately you are going to add it to your cake batter and mix everything together on a very low speed so that is the end of your red velvet so we are through making our red velvet and you can see that it is easy to make and i would like you guys to try it out so guys our cake batter is ready so i'll be pouring this in my prepared baking pan that i have lined with baking paper so at the beginning i have preheat my oven always remember to always preheat your oven that's the first thing you have to do before you start creaming or doing any other thing your oven should be the first thing to be preheated so i'm going to put this in the oven now and bake then i'll show you the result once it's out from the oven so guys our cake is out from the oven so i bake this cake for about 35 to 40 minutes one tip that i normally use to check my cake is i always insert a toothpick at the middle then if the toothpick come out clean without any cake batter stain then your cake is ready so another tip again that once you finish baking your cake to keep it moist if you are not using it or eating it immediately wrap it up with a clean film and a foil paper and keep it in the freezer and keep it frozen till whenever you are ready to use your cake so that's our red velvet cake guys so guys if you enjoy my video let me know in the comment section and please like and share this video with your friends and family and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe and be part of the family i share amazing recipes on this channel so till i come your way or see you in my next video keep believing in yourself bye bye guys and thanks for watching